Hey everybody, Patrick from One Shot Kill It Media here, and today we're swapping out my Attaball 1 to 4 by 24 scope um, into a new mount. So, just to give you a little background here, this is currently in the American Defense Manufacturing uh, Delta mount, and I love it. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, um, but in general, as you can see, it has a tendency to kind of stick past over the castle nut here and I don't like how I have to mount it that far back. Um, I have this scooted all the way up, so obviously I don't have any more play to push it forward. Um, so I wanted something that would actually set the scope back forward right over the receiver itself. And I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do here in just a moment. But again, I love the American Defense mounts. I think they're fantastic. Um, and I got this one for a absolutely killer deal. So it was one of those things I couldn't really pass up. I needed a 30 millimeter mount. And, uh, and it was there for an, an awesome price at Midwest Industries over in uh, Waukesha, Wisconsin. So I ended up scooping that up and it's worked great for me. So nothing against the mount itself, uh, but just want to go ahead and, and rearrange it and get that space, um, you know, back to where I really want it and have that scope centered uh, over the actual receiver. I'll go ahead and show you the new one that I'm going to go ahead and use for it now. All right, so Scope is off the gun, and I'm going to just scoot the gun out of the way here because we don't really need it for anything else at the moment. And we'll go ahead here next and uh, talk about the new mount that I'm going to be using. And that new mount is Attaball's own branded uh, Tactical Precision Mount, TPM mount. Now this is also a, a mount that's going to fit your uh, Weaver pick rails. Um, this one is a 30 millimeter mount as well. Uh, 6061 T6 aluminum is what it's made out of. Uh, so if we take a look here, let's take a look at a few of the other facts. Uh, total weight's about 7.4 ounces. So it's not super, super heavy. Um, not as light as some of the aero precision mounts that you've probably seen out these days. But either way, this is a fantastic option. And the biggest difference that you're going to see with this mount, and I'm going to zoom in here for us quick. One second is that with this mount, the actual quick release levers, the release on them is actually located on the top. So you press down on it and move it out as opposed to pressing on something on the side and then trying to turn it the same way that you're, or the opposite way that you're pressing. So just to show you again, so the release is on the top as opposed to the release here on the ADM mount is on the side. So you gotta lock it and then you press this way to release the actual tab and pull that back. So I think that's a pretty innovative design overall. So we'll go ahead, take this out of the package, take a look at it and get it mounted up and see what we think. All right, there we go. So we've got our Attaball 1 to 4 by 24 out of the ADM mount now. I'm going to go ahead and pop open our Attaball TPM mount now uh, from its packaging. So here we go. Little Microtech knife cuts these damn plastic packages like butter. <laughs> There we go. So we've got our mount right here. And it does come with a little Torx key. And those are the type of screws that you have in the mount itself for the rings. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those using the, the included key here. All right, there we go. So we've got the top ends of the actual rings removed. All right, everybody. So let's just take a look and see what we're looking at here in terms of fit. Okay, 
So the rear one was able to clamp down and hold tight, but this one I can't put it down uh, quite yet. There's just a little too much pressure. So what I'm going to do is I unfold it here and then push it out, and I'll actually take this off so you can see what I do. So we have this part fully extended out as far as it can go back. I push it in, and this little nut here is exposed. So then I just turn it maybe one half turn or quarter turn. Let's try that out and see where that puts us in terms of tightness. All right. There we go. So that's pretty solid overall. I might try to take it off here quick. Maybe just tighten it down one quarter turn or so just to see if that makes any sort of difference on each one. Oh yeah. That's it right there. That's that's where we want it. Nice and snug. Nothing's going to knock that thing off of there. All right. Perfect. So the next thing that I'm going to do is just go ahead and make sure that the eye relief is going to be comfortable for how I normally shoot. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this loosely mounted into the actual mount and then um, we'll go ahead and just uh, kind of line it up from there. All right guys, so we've got our Attaball 1-4 to 4 loosely in the, the TPM mount here right now so I can make any sort of adjustments forward, backward, uh, side to side. You know, just so uh, I can make sure that this is going to be comfortable with wherever I end up placing it and zeroing it in. So I'm going to go ahead and just mount it on here quick just to see what we're looking at. Alright, so let's take a look here. So that's just about perfect in terms of where I want everything, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten down. And there we have it. So we've got the Attaball 1-4 to mounted in the Attaball TPM uh, Tactical Precision Mount. So good looking mount, good looking scope. Nothing to really complain about here. <laughs> Let's take a look here. Alright, and one last thing I'll do is I'll, I'll show you the comparison again here uh, between the ADM mount and the TPM mount made by Attaball. In comparison here to press down and peel out. So overall, folks, it looks like we got ourselves a really nice product here. In terms of affordability, this mount uh, is definitely <laughs> in the running for probably one of the, the nicer mounts that's truly affordable um, for a 30 millimeter mount here. Uh, also, when we're taking a look at everything else on this, uh, I like how we have the press down and pull out to release. I think that's nice. Um, it's, it's not overly hard to press these tabs down. You know, some quick release you know, type mounts, uh, I don't even know how you could really call it quick release because you almost need like a, a pry to get the damn things off. Um, but yeah, overall this one, really nice. I like how those feel. Um, and then, uh, yeah, everything else, I mean, it mounts tight on here. It doesn't seem like anything's going to really knock it off. Uh, so what I'll do is some further testing with it. We'll test zero. Um, you know, we'll zero it in first, take it off put it back on, test it, throw it, do all the things we normally do just to make sure that it really holds zero uh, the way that it's supposed to. But overall, looking like a very well-built product so far, and I think, uh, I think I'm think i going to be happy with it. 
So uh, thanks again for tuning in, everybody. If you could, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, every single subscriber counts, and as you know, a, a smaller channel like mine, we need every single subscriber we can to keep growing and uh, getting out there so we can bring new product reviews like this one to you today. All right, everybody, thanks again. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon.